Good morning, guys, and welcome to Unique Not Different with me, Shakna. And today, I have an exciting um, segment lineup. And I have with me Jamal Legion, who is a sign language tutor, and his wife, um, Anessa Legion, who will be doing to prepare for today. And today, we are actually going to do um, some, learn some sign language basics. But before we get into that, I just want to know, so Jamal, um, good morning and thank you and welcome to Unique Not Different. Uh, my, my first question, at what age did you learn sign language? sign language about nine. And second language is actually my second language. My first language is English. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was born here and then I be, I became deputy to meningitis. Yeah. Right. And um just to um to bus summits, right? Um sign language can it be taught in Trinidad and then you can go anywhere in terms of America, England, Australia and interpret with that same basics in sign language or is it tailored to each specific country, region, etc. Normally sign language is not universal. Most countries will have ASM, ASL American Sign Language for a short time and then they definitely create they create their own language. Each country has their own sign language. For example, if you travel to Spain, you speak Spanish, right? If you travel to England, we have British Sign Language. Right. If you travel to China or to Japan, they have their own sign language. Anywhere you go, they have their sign language, but they're going to use sign um, ASL to be a bit universal, and then you learn there. In Trinidad and Tobago, we have our own sign language. And we, of course, we are natural signers. Right. Um, <laughs> and, and before we get into it, this last question, um, why should everyone consider learning sign language? Everyone needs to learn sign language. It's a language. So why are you telling everybody to learn Spanish? And why are we encouraging people to learn French? You're teaching people to learn different language. But sign language is not for the deaf only, but it's for communication. For example, so if you're in Calibre, and your friend at this Away. You shout into that? Nobody going near you. But if you sign, where you drinking? Bring two drinks. Come. We naturally do that in Trinidad. So communicate silently and sign without any noise. That actually makes sense. So, um, I'm not too sure, but I think um, we have potentially joining us um, this morning to go through the, the, just the basics on sign language. And while we have her on, maybe we can start. Um, so how, how would someone introduce themselves in sign? So let's, let's have Jamal introduce. Right. So this is hello. My name. Jamal Lijet. So he'll spell his name. Okay. So, and everyone who is involved in sign language will have, they will have what we call a name sign or a sign name. So we ain't calling your name all the time. So we give you a sign name. That's how we call you. So what's your sign name? So Jamal's sign name is JL by his heart. By heart. Oh. He has a big heart. 
Okay. So my sign name, uh -huh. my name is spelled Anessa, and mine is the letter A by my dimple. So what did you say would be Shamla? In our in our community, we have Shamla, the letter S with the wheelchair. Okay. Okay. So when we talk about Shamla, we like, who's that? So you are now a brand ambassador for TTT, yeah? Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> But Shamla Jamal is saying the first uh, time he, he met you, like he called you Shamla. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just like how you're always talking and smiling and stuff. Right. And okay, so let's say somebody is in distress. They are lost, right? How would you say I need help in sign? You point yourself, I I need index finger curve down, need yeah. help. So, up, thumb, um, fist with upright thumb on an upright palm coming towards you. Okay. Help. So, yeah, so you can also say, help me. So, if I am going to, if you tell me, I need help, I am going to help. Sign language requires movement to cut off half of the way. Help. So I'm helping you. You are helping me. In terms of dialogue, um, of slang, do we have slang in sign language? Like that Trini slang, do say that. Do we use that? Yeah. So we would say, don't say that. Or... Oh, so, so actually, yeah. sign yeah. half as well. Yes, of course. Well, okay. So it, naturally, we would say, <laughs> yeah, like cutting. We have concepts and, and, and stuff, so yes. Uh, so yes, yeah, Trinidadian slang, sometimes you have to explain um, the meaning behind some of these things. I remember somebody asked, never see, come see, right? That's I signing it in English, but it will be signed. I was only born yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I never see that before. She knew in the bit, she's me, she's me, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, I notice a lot of facial expression. So facial ex expression is just as important as hand signing. Yes. The language should not only, it, it doesn't mean that you have to now convert yourself into a deaf person. You have to communicate. You, you use your own body expression, for example, so you see a person who acts like a diva. You have to sign like a diva. Oh. So you know Jamal is the first song agreement. You have to include the sign language and if you look at what we call parameters of signing, um, the expressions and the body language is what you call non-manual markers. So it is inclusive. So, so for example, I'm happy to see you, Shabla. But my expression ain't showing that I'm happy. So I'm happy to see you. Happy. Yeah. But if I'm saying, I'm happy to see you, actually, so my expression says that I'm happy as well. Okay. Okay. And um, before, I want you to actually close off in sign. So I will close off now. And then I would ask you to close off on my behalf, I say goodbye and enjoy your day.
So guys, um, I really hope this was helpful. My takeaway today is that sign language, um, you, I guess, still like the sign language for the individual based on their personality and what they portray and what brand they give. So with that being said, I want to say thank you so much for tuning in to this week's segment. I really hope that you find this was educational. And um, Anessa, before we go, um, how would we, how can someone contact you guys to learn sign language? And I am out, be good, be good. And please say goodbye. And how do we contact you? So you all can actually call me at 739-3094. And Shamla, we're actually going to sign your tagline. Be good. Do good. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you. Bye. Thanks.